Good morning, people. Welcome back to the vlog. Thank you for clicking on today's video. My name is Sydney, active duty Air Force, and I'm taking you guys along on weekly vlogs of my tech school journey to become a mental health technician. I've been in the military for about four years now, and I just wanted to vlog my experience of coming back and getting a new career. So, anyhoosies, so today is, what's today? Sun. Saturday so far today. I finished all of my assignments. I had several assignments to do if you're new here I'm in tech school, but I'm also in my master's program So I'm doing tech school work while I'm here as well as master's level program stuff. So yeah child But I wanted to show you guys my outfit because I'm actually about to head out the door Because I'm going thrifting with one of my friends that I made out here that you guys probably have heard me talk about in other vlogs, but I love my outfit today, so I wanna show you guys really quickly what I'm wearing. Sorry, y'all, I'm trying to like post it. So, because my hair is dirty, I gotta wash my hair today, but my hair is dirty, so I put on my headband that I got from, I think, Target a couple years ago, if not a year ago. And then I have this little Cardi that I got from Prep 21, and then I have under here a nice little bralette that I got from Target. It's so comfortable when you don't want to wear a bra. Love a bralette. And then I'm wearing my cute little pleated skirt that I got from TJ Maxx, I think. If if not TJ Maxx, I got it from Marshalls. Love this thing. And then I'm just wearing my Air Force Ones. I just wanted to wear something super cute and like thrown together. And then I also am going to be carrying my Oh, Luna just called me, hold on. I'm also gonna be carrying my yellow purse that I got from Target, and this is the outfit for today. Yeah. Yeah. All right guys, I'm back and I just finished up my assignment that I was working on before I headed out. I want to show you guys what I picked up from the thrift shop, the thrift shops, because I'm actually really excited for the cute little stuff I got. Um, and I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna try it on for you guys on camera as well because I also want to try it on for Leland. So let me go ahead and do a quick spell check of this assignment, and then I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. As you guys saw, I went to two different stores. I went to Buffalo Exchange and went to Goodwill. From Goodwill, I only got one thing. From Buffalo Exchange, I got two things. So I got one thing from Goodwill, and it's a pair of shorts. And this is what they look like. Okay, that's a, ooh, okay. Yeah, super cute. Like, yeah, summertime vibe. Very 90s, very 90s shorts. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try them on real quick. Real quick, this is what they look like on. So cute. Now, obviously, I'm gonna get them like taken in like this. And tell me that's not so cute. It's so 90s. Oh, they're so cute. So I plan on getting them taken in because they have the cute little like denim thing here that I like. So I'm gonna have them taken in right on the sides so that I can keep the integrity of this little patch. Um, and yeah, I just think they're so cute. Tell me this isn't cute. Or my dad has a pair of these shorts or something. But um, and then I also was thinking they could also like I can also alter them to have it cuffed permanently, like have them sew it so it's cuffed like this. Like both looks so cute, right? Which one's better? Which one do you like better? The cuff or the no cuff? We'll see. I'll probably show them like what I want to do to the short and if they say how much like more to be, like if it's like something crazy, I'm not going to pay for that. I would just do no cuff. But this is what I got from Goodwill and it was only $3, these shorts. So super cute. I thought that was a really good price but this is how big they actually are on me guys <laughs> yeah it's i gotta take probably in at least like two inches on both sides take it in about two inches on both sides so yeah and then i got these pair of pants super cute pants i just thought these were so fun i'm not even a pants kind of girl but i thought these were so cute wait let me unpause Leela real quick because my phone is dying but um, yeah, and actually this is the true color of them. I love the color of them. Nice chocolatey brown, really nice. And actually what's fun too is that they split at the bottom like this, like all the fun girls do. I don't have any pants like this because I really don't really, 
I really don't really I don't really like that style like that but I could see how it's cute but this is what they look like full length of the pants so I'm on my tippy toes by the way because I wouldn't wear these pants with heels I would never wear them with sneakers because they're too long um but super cute I just think these are adorable they were only eight dollars um, I love this crossover right here in the front. I like when my pants do like this crossover. I just think it looks very, very clean because yes, it has belt loops, but then it allows me to wear without belt loops and it still looks nice. Like it doesn't look like it's meant to have belt loops. And then the last thing I got is a dress because what is me without buying a dress? So let me, all right, right now it looks crazy, but let me put it together how I'm going to like get it done, okay? Because it's super cute and it probably convinced me to buy it because I was wearing my yellow bandana. But anyway, so this is the dress, super cute. This is also $8. Um, it's from the brand Ann Taylor. I love the sleeves. Tell me this is the cutest little, look at these sleeves. This is so cute. Okay, anyway, so all right, the length, it's giving, it's giving Little House on the Prairie. Yes, it's giving Little House on the Prairie. But but, and it's so cute too, right? It has a little slit or whatever. Now on a tall girl, this would be so cute. But on me, because I'm short, what I'm gonna do is, when I take those shorts to get tailored, I'm gonna take this dress too, and I'm gonna have them hem it. Now let me show you guys how I'm gonna have them hem it. Tell me this isn't cute. Like, short like this, ignore the back side. But like, that's the thing. Like, So I'm gonna actually take it to the tailor, and I'm gonna have them hem the dress. I'm gonna have them shorten it up and not so short but like just above the knee i think that'd be so so cute what do you guys think i think this is adorable is this not adorable like even with my hair like fully down no bandana or anything i still let me take my bandana off so you guys can see that it's still cute even without like the cute little yellow accessory maybe i should brush my hair out hold on let me brush my hair out like this is so cute i think this is so cute and the best part about it is i don't even wear a lot of color like that i do kind of want them to tighten up the sleeves like, I think it would look so much better if it wasn't such much, so much space in the sleeve. Like, if I tighten this up right here and tighten this sleeve up right here. It's, it's giving, it's giving moo moo. It's giving moo moo dress, but that's only because it's dropped like this. But anyway, all right, I'll pick up the camera at some point. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. again because i'm about to go out to this club with some people not people but you know with the girl that i went thrift shopping thrift shopping with today i'm about to go to the club real quick with her and another guy from our class just you know go off a little bit i'm not planning on staying out long because baby i'm old okay i'm old i don't have time for that <laughs> I, I cannot stay out that late um so i'm trying to figure out what i want to do with my hair with my, I want to wear these big old earrings because tonight is 90s night. So I kind of want to be like super extra about my earrings because that's so 90s. I'm going to do my makeup really quick. I also need to do my hair. <sighs> right now it's 10 o'clock. We were supposed to, I was supposed to be there at 10 o'clock. Let's not talk about it. All right, my hair is done. Makeup is done. I did a really, really poofy look because I thought it was so 90s and cute. Um, outfit wise, I don't know. I'm still not 100% sure on my outfit, but it's just getting later and later. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. I need to make up my mind because the later it gets, the more I'm like, mm, don't want to go. So I need to figure it out. <laughs> okay. I need to figure it out. And I think I'm going to just do a red lip because that's the only bold color I have. So 
right, but yeah, I love how my hair came out. I I actually raked through my hair with the comb that I got from my um, hair curler or yeah, the new hair curler I picked up. So if you guys haven't seen my last vlog, you guys didn't see this curl iron, but I think it would look better if I had my blue jeans on instead. And I kind of thinking if I should just put my blue jeans that are like more baggy vibe. But then again, I have a bralette, so I'm like, mm, maybe I should just go ahead and I also want to poof up the bottom of my hair a little more, make it a little more frizzy. Cause I don't like being able to see through my hair. Like that's the part of thin hair I really don't like. But, okay, let me figure out. I was gonna wear my blue denim jacket. And I think that's actually kind of cute with this outfit though, like with these pants. It just kind of makes it look hella cute. Because yes, I wanna be cute, but I wanna be warm. I don't wanna be cold standing outside no line, cause that's what club scene is, like standing outside in the line, waiting to get in, paying to get in, and all that stuff. So, this is what I'm giving tonight. I think I look kind of cute. <laughs> So let me set myself up for success. I don't even know what perfume I'm gonna wear either. I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear. Let me see. So I'm just wearing the blue denim jacket and then I have my bralette underneath and then these really cute um, corduroy pants that I got from Target and this is the fit. I just don't know what shoes to throw on because I have shoes that match these pants actually, but they're sandals and it's not warm outside. So. I'm like, ooh, should I just wear heels? Cause I have these brown little sandals that I could throw on. I don't go out anymore, so I really just don't know what to do, what to dress, <laughs> how to look. But yeah, okay. I'm gonna just put my Air Force Ones on and call it a day. I need to text her and let her know that I'm about to be ready. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. I'm finally picking up the camera. It is, did I say morning? It's definitely the afternoon. It's almost, it's 2.22 in the afternoon. I've been up since about six in the morning, seven in the morning. I did do my nails as you guys saw. I got my laundry done. So I'm gonna fold that when I come back. 
But I just wanted to go ahead and get some fresh air head out the door. And I wanted to head to Home Goods today because they have some of the best snacks, I feel like. And I just want to pick up some snacks. I also need to pick up some chips for Leland because he will be coming this week. Well, he'll be here on Thursday and he leaves the next, the following Monday. So I'm excited. So I want to pick up some of his favorite snacks as well. So let's just go to Home Goods, see what they have also because the spring girlies, they're out. Obviously, I'm not about to be shopping for no spring before. While I'm staying in a hotel, like that's silly. But if I see something cute, I might, I might go ahead and pick it up. You know, you never know. But yeah, last night was fun, guys. Um, I don't think I got any footage really. I might have recorded a little on my phone. But last night was fun. We ended up going to two different clubs. Um, we went to a gay club, like a gay bar, and then we also went to a Latina, Latino, um, club. Those were nice. We were supposed to be going to this club called Rewind, which is like. A throwback kind of club, but the line was crazy and the parking was even crazier. From Home Goods. I went in there, like I said, looking for some chips um, and this chocolatey granola thing that I actually purchased. Couldn't find either one of them, but I bought a whole bunch of other snacks, other goodies that I want to show you guys. So the first thing that I picked up are these um, snickerdoodle bites. I love snickerdoodles. They're one of my favorite types of cookies. So I was like, ooh. And these were only $3.99. And I don't know exactly what they look like as of yet. But on the picture, it just looks like a little block of a snickerdoodle cookie. So like a mini snickerdoodle cookie. I hope it tastes like that. We'll see. It's from the brand Heavenly Hunk. And then I also picked up some macaroons. These are the lemon macaroons. I love lemon. Lemon is like one of my favorite flavors of just anything. So these are almond meringues with a lemon natural flavor cream filling. I'm stuttering. To, like I'm struggling to talk right now. Cause I got, I just got done um, off the phone with my mom for about an hour and a half, and then I have read this long text from my sister out loud. So right now it's kind of, I'm struggling to read, like I'm struggling to talk a little bit. But this pack right here was only $4.99, and you get two, four, six macaroons in here. I really hope these are good as well. And then I picked up this box of chocolates, and I saw this and I was like, ooh, what is that? They're called Maxims, or they're from the, oh, these are from the Carino, Carino. I don't know that brand right there this one right here don't know how to pronounce that sorry the camera is struggling but that's the brand name of the macaroons they always have macaroons at home goods but these are called Ma they're from this is from the brand Maxims and these are Le Crepes Dentel Dentel chocolate of all chocolate chocolate of I don't know, but it's French. Um, struggling as you guys can see. I'm rusty on my French. I took French in high school, but I'm rusty, okay? So, yeah, I bought this box of chocolate, and essentially, it's just 18 crepes dipped in chocolate milk chocolate. I was like, ooh, that sounds good. And then I also picked up another pack of macarons, but these are mint macarons, so they're like chocolate macarons with a mint center. I was like, ooh, that sounds really good too. This is from the brand Hotel Chocolate by British Cocoa Grower. Um, dark chocolate and refreshing peppermint whip. Mm. Don't that sound good? Got that. This one was $5.99 and this box right here was $2.99. So these aren't bad prices of things. And then I also picked up the sea salt caramel bites. The brand is chocolate. What is the brand name of this? Is it chocolate, chocolate, chocolate? Is that the brand name? I guess so. But this is what the bag looks like. It was only $3.99 and it's just like balls filled with chocolate inside. And I was like, ooh, that sounds really good as well pick that up and then i have two more little treats that i picked up a little snacks 
I picked up these wedding cookies. They're from the brand Glutinetto. Um, and they're delicate so shortbread made with fresh pecans and lemon zest. Like I said, love the lemon. The reason I picked it up was because it said lemon and I was like, ooh, that probably tastes good. And this right here was only $2.99 as well. And then lastly, I picked up some pretzels. They had a bunch of different types of pretzels there. So I was like, ooh, I don't know which one I want. But I ended up getting these. These are the Butter Toffee Pretzels. They are toasted pecan, so it's crunchy pretzels covered in rich Evertone butter toffee and toasted pecan. So it's like a sweet and salty snack. Well, you know, sometimes you don't always want something super, super sweet or chocolatey. So I picked these up and they looked really good. These were only $2.99 as well. So those are all the snacks that I picked up today from Marshalls. And I'm about to make me a seafood boil with eggs, potatoes, snow crabs. I'm thinking whether or not I want to do shrimp and corn. And that's pretty much it for tonight. I was gonna do a little bit of studying, so I'm probably gonna do that later on in the night if I end up feeling like it. I probably won't, to be honest. I'm gonna just enjoy the rest of my day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where the fuck should I really? <laughs> it is so dark in here, cause it's dark outside. Good morning, peeps. Happy Tuesday. I did not pick up the camera yesterday because I don't know, it just wasn't much to record. Yesterday we had a test. Well, we had a practical um, we had a practical exam yesterday and we administered the Shipley 2 as well as the MQ9. The PQ9 screens for depressive symptoms while the MMP, not the MMPI, the Shipley 2 is, I think, an achievement test or intelligence test, I can't remember, um, or a test for cognitive functioning. That's what it is. But yeah, so we did that yesterday, I got 100. Today we have another test. So this test is the actual written test. And um, not gonna hold you, I feel, let me not lie, cause I feel confident about this test, but I don't wanna be overconfident, but yeah. Order our, oh my God. Before we even leave, leave the room today, I need to order our groceries. Like I did last time, you guys know we order our groceries for pickup. And I order my groceries now through AGB because I am in San Antonio. And Leland's order is still going to Georgia, so. I am just going to see if I can schedule a same day pickup for Leland to be able to go pick up his groceries and for me so when I get off or out of class today um, I can go pick up my groceries. So let me see, is this his debit card? I can schedule for today. Yep, I can schedule today, awesome. So I'm going to schedule him for a same day pickup. I'm going to schedule his groceries, that was Leland that just texted me. I'm going to schedule his groceries for 6pm so that he has plenty of time to go get them. Um, continue. Like, I've been having a lot of issues sleeping, falling asleep, staying asleep. Um, it just, mm, I don't know, I don't know why I've been having such issues going to sleep and staying asleep. Since I got here, that's been an issue, so <clears throat> I really don't be wanting to get out of bed in the morning. And obviously, that that's not good. That doesn't work out for what I need to get done. So I just finished Leland's, um, I just finished Le ordering Leland's groceries for pickup. Oh, something else that I found out yesterday that I found was really interesting. One of my uh, friends, well, we used to be best friends in elementary school, but I moved and then she moved and stuff like that. But um, she's actually here in San Antonio. Look at this error. I keep getting an error block message from HEB. What is that about? But um, she's out here in San Antonio for the next two weeks or whatever for some training. So I was like, ooh, let me go ahead and hang out with her. So I might hang out with her at some point while she's still out here. It's such a coincidence though because, like I said, we kind of lost connection. Well, not kind of, we did. We lost connection years ago. And then out of nowhere, like we found each other on Instagram and... Um, she ended up being in the Air Force just like me and we were stationed hella close. I was stationed at Nellis in Vegas and she was stationed at Travis in California. So, I don't know. It's crazy how the universe works. Why can't I get on HEB right now? Like, that's so weird to me. Look at this. I can get to the website on my phone, but for some reason it keeps giving me the error message on the computer, which is so annoying. But let me go ahead and just log in and schedule my groceries to pick up. Hey guys, I am back in the room. I'm back in the room, guys. And today was not a good day. Today was not a good Tuesday. I'm so irritated with people and just, I'm ready to go home. Like, I'm ready to go home. Um, I'm still contemplating whether or not I wanna talk about what ha all happened today. But for right now, we're about to head out the door because I need to go to alterations and I also need to go pick up my groceries. So right now, we're about to do, we're about to head out the door real quick. We're just gonna put this snacks up. 
Um, yeah, I'm about to head out the door really quick because I need to catch these places before they close. I don't have to talk too much about my days because I feel like at some point somebody might watch this video or whatever, whatever. It might come back to bite me in my butt. So let me go ahead and head to Alterations and head to the grocery store. Come back. I'll show you guys what groceries I got and we'll see how, we'll see how I'm feeling because today just wasn't it. Okay, today... Today wasn't the day. I'm ready. To, I'm ready for it to be Friday. Let's just say that I'm ready for it to be Friday. Ugh. So really quickly, let me show you guys what I picked up. I just got some cup of noodles. This is the beef flavor. Also got some Tostitos chips because I I don't know. I just was in the mood for salsa. Got me a pound and a half of more snow crab because I already have snow crab in the freezer so I got just some more and then I also got some Dungeness crab I got two pounds of Dungeness crab and then I also got me a box of the mini haagen dolls oh this is this is my favorite ice cream actually some emergency for immune support because I was sick I also picked up a really tiny mayo because I just wanted to make some deviled eggs I also picked up some salsa to go with those chips and I picked up some relish to go with my deviled eggs. If you guys know how to make deviled eggs, you know you need mayo and relish. And then I also got some apple juice. I got two things of the Mox apple juice. I picked up a bunch of the Bull House Farms um, berry juices because they're just so good. So I got some of the berry boosts. And I also got a new flavor that I wanted to try. This one is the Immunity Pineapple Kale Ginger Boost. And I was like, ooh, that sounds so good. Doesn't that sound good? I also got some more butter, even though I really didn't need any because I have like two sticks left. But I got some butter and then I got me a carton of eggs. Because I think I'm, yep, I'm out of eggs. And then I got me some of these um, Cascade Sparkling Ice things. I got strawberry watermelon, strawberry lemonade. Ooh, another strawberry lemonade. Another strawberry watermelon. Strawberry lim yeah, so I just got strawberry lemonade and strawberry watermelon. Some chicken. I just got two packs of the chicken wings. And this is what it looks like. So I got two bags of the chicken wings. My last couple of bags. I just got some baby wipes because I was running out of my baby wipes. I also got me some almonds. These are the roasted and salted almonds. And then I have these cashew halves and pieces. Picked up another thing of lotion because I am actually running out of lotion. And then lastly, I got this big old bag of lifesavers for class. So I'm going to take these into class tomorrow. That is everything I picked up from the grocery. Oh, and I bought a pack of gum, a three pack of gum because, child, this would be the only thing keeping me awake sometimes. Hey guys, good afternoon. Happy what's this? Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, guys. I am currently eating lunch. I have just picked up some of this stuff from the DFAC. These are two veggie rolls, some confetti corn, and then a baked potato. And then I just have some cranberry juice. I also picked up a salad, but I already put it in the refrigerator because you guys not eat salads for breakfast. And I also picked up some ice cream because I didn't know they had ice cream at the DFAC, but they apparently do. And I grabbed two because you can take two. So they have the blue bunny, or what is this, blue ribbon chocolate eclairs. So I grabbed two of those just as a little snack. And then I did pull out this chicken. Don't mind the dishes. I did pull out the chicken because I'm going to fry some chicken tonight for dinner, I think. I just, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And I also have a whole dishwasher of clean dishes that I still haven't emptied. And that's why those dishes are in the sink. But it's been a lot, y'all. So I'm about to eat my lunch. I just wanted to pop on and say, hey, you guys know how I do. The worst vlogger ever throughout the week. But on the weekends, I be really catching y'all up on the weekends. Like, it's just be during the week, we be so busy doing stuff that I forget sometimes to pick up the camera and like talk and stuff. So, yeah. So I just wanted to say, hey y'all. Hope you guys are having a great day, evening, or had a great day or whatever. While you're watching this, by the time you're watching this. If you didn't, I hope you have a better tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch, watch some YouTube, and then go back to class. It's a routine, every day, same thing. Different, same thing, different day. Back in the room, um, I am about to knock out some homework assignments. So first and foremost, I'm gonna do this collateral interview outline because we're getting into the interview section of my tech school. So I have to do an intake interview as well as a collateral it's a collateral interview and my collateral interview is on Friday and my intake my intake interview is our practice is next week and then the graded is the week following that. So I am just hopping 
kind of ahead and gonna do the outline and then I also have some assignments for my master's program that I'm gonna knock out today because Leland is coming tomorrow so I just want to make sure like I got my assignments knocked out so that I'm able to truly like Focus on my time with Leland and reconnect in the ways that we need to reconnect. I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead. Thought my raps were the facts and they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I can tell they ass apart. I got big packs coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out to save. I got Lil Max with me, he the wave. It's a big gap between us and the game. In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid. Good morning, peeps. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday. Um, I don't even know the last time I picked up the camera. i be honest with y'all. Like, I've just been living my life. My stressful AF life, but my life regardless. Um, Leland is here. His He just stepped out. I'll show you guys him in a second. But he is here for the weekend. Oh, I do want to show you guys um, the birthday gift that Leland brought me. Uh, from home because my mom actually sent my birthday gift to the house So I want to show you guys what she got me. It's a late birthday gift, but birthday gift nonetheless My birthday gift from my mom. She got me a little coach bag. It's so cute, isn't it? Like it's not necessarily like something I would have gravitated toward but I love the size of it It's really really adorable how small it is and I love the shape it is stir sturdy So it does sit up by itself, which I appreciate in a bag and this bag is actually called Sydney That's why she said she got it for me because the name of the bag is Sydney. So that's what the name of the bag is right there. camera struggling y'all I'm sorry. Yeah, so that's the name of the bag right there, but yeah super cute bag I plan on wearing this with just like a very nude neutral outfit and then have the red be the pop of color Leland just texted me and said my uber is ready. So he's about to drive me to class. All right guys I'll see y'all later. Leland's here. Hey, yo. He got me flowers guys yes, I did. And he didn't put them in water. So they're dying They're not dying, <laughs> they're not dying yet <laughs> We gotta find a way to cut them. We have a knife yeah, in here. Alright. So they need to get a little sword actually. Look how dead these flowers are. They will be fine. They literally are dying. She's gonna update you. They're over here like, what? 